welcome to today's video where I'm going to be talking about some newer multi-chrome and matte eyeshadows from Terra Moons Cosmetics. Now these are not the most recent shades. These did launch about a month ago or so and all these shadows were gifted to me by Terra Moons. So thank you so much to Terra Moons for sending these over. And they do have some new shadows that just launched which I do have those as well. So I will be filming a video on those so stay tuned for that. I'm going to be creating three looks featuring all these shadows and then at the end of the video I'll give you some of my thoughts. So let's get right into it. Taking Perseus, I think is how it's pronounced. This is a, just like a gray eyeshadow and I'm gonna pop that right into the crease. I'm just gonna first putting it down. I did prime with the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And I'm just gonna be blending this out. I don't wanna take it up too far. And just blending, blending. This is the P. Louise 117 brush. I'm just really trying to blend it out here. Putting down the Fernie Pixie Epoxy. Picked up Exoplanet and it's going to go onto the outer portion and center of my lid. Definitely not like the shiniest, which I could tell just from how it looked in the pan. And then I'm going in with Wander Star and I'm using the J242 brush from Hakuhodo. And it's going to go on the inner lid, a little bit into my crease. I felt like these two shades looked a little similar in the pan. So I really wanted to see what they look like both on the lid. And I definitely, look at this one is brighter. It doesn't have quite a bit of that gray base, but they are very similar. I definitely would recommend only getting kind of one or the other. I think you can see that they even just like kind of blend together. They kind of just look like I put on one shade. And then just finishing off this look with the gray underneath my lower lash line. So here's the first finished look. Taking the Star Sailors and popping that into my crease. I'm just kind of laying it down first. I'm going to wipe off my brush and then feather out the edges so I didn't, I didn't want to have much product on my brush because I wanted to create that gradient. So just letting it kind of blend out. And then on the outer corner, going in with Moon Reverie. And this is just a little bit darker, but they're very similar. I think the tone is also a little bit different, but again, super similar. And you could totally go in with a lighter purple and blend this out, but I'm just trying to stick to the new shades. And then I'm going to switch over to the other brush. I was using the P. Louise 117. I'm just feathering it that and just feathering it out into a triangular shape. Out here. And that is blending super nicely. We get a little bit of fallout, unfortunately, that kind of stuck down. Taking a darker purple underneath my lower lash line. And just and just connecting it. Going in with the Fernie Pixie Epoxy. Going in with my finger, tapping it out. Picked up Hyperspace and you can see this one's a little bit on the flaky side, so hopefully it won't have too much fallout. Oh yeah, that's a lot of sparkle. I knew it, which probably means a little bit more fallout, especially if you're not using a tacky primer, would definitely recommend one, but it does smooth out very nicely. Just a little bit of fallout, not too bad. So I think you can really see the level of shine between these two. While still shiny, I think this is definitely more, more sparkly. And here's the second finished look. On to the third and final look. I'm going in with Estella first. And I'm going to be using three matte shadows from the collection. And I'm just popping that right into the inner third of my crease. I'm taking Capella, same brush, right next to the green and my crease and I'm gonna bring this out just a little bit because I'm going to be blending a red into it so I'm just kind of laying down a base with that to blend into and I'm taking this shade which I can't burn out it's basically just a really beautiful burgundy it's a little bit brighter than a typical burgundy maybe but I want to pop that onto the outer corner and that's what's getting blended into the yellow to kind of deepen it up here. And 
I'm just blending it into the yellow. And then I'm going to take it a little bit further onto my lid, but not blending it in with the green. But I'm not like really worried about it being too too even on there because I'm going to be putting a shimmer down. And then I'm going to take the other brush that I used, the yellow, and I'm going in with some more of the yellow. And the edges just really blending it. I feel like the blend is not looking the greatest. I'm going to go back in a little bit more with this red and then wipe off my brush so that there's not much left on it and just further blending this out. Then taking the red underneath my lower lash line, but I'm only going to be bringing it in about halfway. And then I'm going to take the yellow on the edge of that just a little bit more. Taking the Fairy Pixie Epoxy and putting it all across my lid. Taking Lyra or Lyra, and I'm going to put that all over where I put down the primer. Oh, that's so beautiful. Definitely see mostly green, lime green. So sparkly, so beautiful. I'm just kind of taking it all over, spreading it around. This one does pick up a little bit flaky. I'm using the J242 brush from Hakuhodo to put it down. You could use the, I believe it's the 21 or the 28 brush from Refer. It's basically the same thing. So here's the finished look. So first I'm going to talk about the matte eyeshadows. Terramos Formula is a little bit on the drier powdery side. There is quite a bit of kick up if that's something you don't like. Definitely something to keep in mind. It's not my most favorite matte eyeshadow formula. But that doesn't mean it's bad. I had no issues with any of these shadows here. And I have lots of their other matte eyeshadows. There's this one shade that's more of like a satin up here. And this one does stain but it is really beautiful. But I didn't get to use it in this video. As for some of these other shades. Some of these are multi-chromes and some of these are not. I think you could pretty clearly from the swatches tell which ones are the multi-chromes. There are a couple of different formulas in here. Some of them are a little bit flaky, specifically these two shades up here, and then the rest of them are pretty smooth. If anything, I think this shade is also a little flaky. What is this one called? Hyperspace. But otherwise, these are the Terra Moon's super smooth metallic formula, and because these are a little bit flaky, they do have just a bit more sparkle, a bit more of an impact, but definitely be careful with these because if you put on too much, they might accentuate skin texture. These two shades are definitely my favorite as well as Hyperspace, and these two shades are extremely similar, so I would just grab one of them really because if you put them on the lid at the same time, just like I did in one of the looks, they'll pretty much end up looking the same. So those are pretty much my thoughts on this Terra Moons collection and I can't wait to try the newest one. They always knock it out of the park and I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Did you pick any of these up and which shades are your favorites? And that's everything for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time.